anyone pops on here live and just wait a couple of seconds this is the first episode I'm just ridiculously excited for this and um, so today what I thought I would do is just share with you why like why am I doing this and there are several reasons why I'm doing this so anyway if you hop on live Make sure that you say hi, and hopefully I can see the comments here. I think, yeah, I can, I think it, comments are on. And if you're watching the replay, just hashtag replay because I love to interact with you. I love to know what came up for you, um, when you're hearing what it is that I'm sharing with you, and just interact and, and say hello, you know? I love to, I love to talk to my peeps. So, why the self mastery morning show and I mean I love there's several reasons I love working in the morning <laughs> I'm at my best in my in the morning and you know a lot of things happen in the evening and mornings are my thing so that's why it's a morning show and the other thing that I've really learned and I, I shared a little bit about this in the post that I did just announcing that I was even doing this self mastery morning show you know, one of the other reasons is it's commitment, right? It's a commitment to showing up for you and sharing my life experiences along with um, my clients when I have permission to share their experiences and just share what it is that I've learned over the years in uh, personal growth and self-improvement or whatever name you want to call it because I know people get triggered by different names that are kind of so overhearing certain names out there so just use whatever word comes to mind for you um, that resonates for you and it's really just about you know over the years with personal growth and how I've been growing into this best version of myself there are two things that I just noticed that I didn't know when I was starting out I remember when gosh I mean there's so many stories but I remember when you know, I first started out on, let's just say my health journey, for example. I remember thinking to myself, like if, if so-and-so just didn't have this food in the house or if so-and-so, or you know, if this event, like it just seems like every where you turn, you know, there's like a long weekend or there's summer or there's someone's birthday. And so I would never commit to anything because there was this one thing getting in the way. Are you feeling me? If you're feeling me, leave me a comment in the comments, okay? And you know, you can look at that in relationships or you can look at that in your business, right? In my business, I used to think that, you know, there was like these external things, right? Like if so-and-so didn't do this, then I could do that. Like it was like people were getting in my way of me kind of coming out and shining, right? And so, what I realized through all my relationship stuff, my health issues, and my career and launching into having a business was that I, I was the common denominator. So if I wanted things to be different, I need to do work on myself. And a lot of people are, I'm not saying a lot of people, there are many people out there who are just not there yet. So if you're here, hopefully this is where you are, where you're kind of You've, you've already done the finger pointing outside yourself and you're kind of like seeing that there's these three fingers pointing back at you, you know, and you're like, shit, I am the one who has to make some changes here. And what I can tell you is that when you start making the changes in your life and you start taking little tips from what you're gonna learn in this morning show and these other master classes that I'm gonna do in here that are gonna be completely free for you, when you start making these little shifts, you'll notice that your relationships will get better. You'll be more committed to your health and less committed to you, less committed to your excuses. And you'll be more committed to your business or your career or taking the next steps to take it to the next level. Because what you're really doing is you're taking your life to the next level. That's the whole point of, you know, tuning into this show um, working on yourself, investing in yourself with um, whatever it is you want to do, a program, like, you know, I have my Ignite program, 
um, reclaim, you know, your rise. You know, I have these three programs where you're investing in yourself to become this next level version of yourself wherever you're at. The other thing that I, you know, wanted to bring to light with this morning show was like, no bullshit. No bullshit. So you're gonna hear me swear, you're gonna say me, you're gonna hear me say fuck, you're gonna hear me say all these things because if I didn't do that, I wouldn't be being myself. And my whole gives me shivers thinking about this. My whole vision and the whole reason why I'm creating this and why it is that I do what I do in my business is because I want you to live your life. Now I want you to live your life on purpose. I want you to live your life um for you, not for anybody else, not for anybody else. You know, we get to live, we get to run our business the way we want. Like, I don't know about you, but like, I discovered that there are so many rules, so many freaking rules in my life. There are rules about how uh, I was gonna run my business, or rules about how uh, a great relationship was supposed to go. There was rules, and all of these rules, there was rules about what I could eat and what I couldn't eat. And I'm telling you, I still, I still do struggle with this sometimes where I'll see the rules coming in and I'm like, I have to retract them, right? It's like the rules about this, you know, I used to show up on video and I used to have a list of all the things I was going to talk about. There is nothing around me. This is not going to be scripted at all. And I'm just going to speak from my heart, you know, I'm just speak from my heart because that is where things land that that's where things I find land with me. And I know that, you know, they're going to land with you in that way as well. Right. And it's just speaking our truth. What I find with a lot of people who reach out to me is that they just feel lost. You know, they're lost in some area of their life and they're not speaking up for themselves. They're just so used to just, you know, the word that was coming up when I was out, um, you know, this morning I was out, I, I did a workout, I did a 30 minute workout, have this whole 90 day commitment where I work out minimum 30 minutes every day for the next 90 days, right? So I was out, I did my workout, I did some yoga because my body needed some stretching and then I went out for a walk and I thought about this word settling and I thought, you know, there was a time in my life when I settled. I was settling, I didn't know I was settling but I was settling. I settled in a relationship that wasn't meant for me, that I knew wasn't meant, meant for me from day one, from the very first kiss. I was settling in a career that was sucking my soul and had been settling in that for over 20 years. I was settling with my health. You know, I wasn't committing to um, being the person who is really full of vitality and I was settling in all these areas and I thought to myself gosh if I'm doing this then how many other people out there are settling in their lives too and so then when I started doing the work on myself and I found what it is that I do now uh, in my coaching it set my whole life on fire and I mean in fire good you know and life still happens, you know, we still have ups and downs. And what I can tell you is that through the things that I'm going to share you share with you on this morning show and in the master classes that I'm going to be teaching because I love to teach, things are going to shift your perspective and shift your thinking, you know, because I believe what I believe is that we are meant to live an extraordinary life. We are meant to do the things that we love no matter what. And we are meant to do more of the things that we love. And what happens is that we, we get caught in this loop and depending on where you are in your journey, it could be you resonate with, it could be a habit, a belief, or a pattern. They all kind of mean the same thing, but a little different. And these things, these are the things that we've adopted 
as a very young child. It's the things that we saw. So what a lot of us, um, or I'll speak for myself, what I did not know for the longest time was that I didn't know when I was age zero to seven that I was like a little sponge and I was absorbing everything that everyone was saying around me. And what happened was, is that I saw a relationship between my parents that wasn't healthy. The relationship that my mom had with herself wasn't healthy. Body image stuff, all that. And all of that because I saw different things as I was in that really young age. And we think, you know, it's like, I look at my nephew right now, for example, you know, he's only, he's 23 months old, he's so cute. And I look at him and I'm like, it was so interesting because I was talking to a girlfriend last night and it was like, she's like, I can't believe how much my daughter knows. And she's only, I think she's, she's about a year and a half, she's 18 months. And I said, oh yeah, so when my sister is not around and my mom is around, he will point at his diaper because he knows that he's got something in his diaper, whether he's peed or pooed, right? And then he showed my mom what to do. And that was like four months ago he was doing that. He was doing that at like 18 months. And I thought to myself, wow, these kids, they really are sponges. They really know more. And so when you take yourself back and you think about your childhood and you think about the people who raised you or the people that you were around most and you look at how they were living their life and then you kind of look at how things are playing out in your life, you'll notice some similarities. And these are patterns and they're so ingrained. We've been doing these patterns that we haven't even known that we've been doing until I would say late 30s, mid 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. We start to see them playing out. We start to notice that, you know, I mean, health is a really easy one. We start a diet and we do it for a while and then we revert back, you know. So then we pick a new diet, right? Because that one didn't work. So then we pick a new one and it goes for a while and we lose weight and whatever. And then we revert back. It's just patterns. It's just patterns. And so what we do in this work is we break those patterns for good, for good, right? Because you're going to hear me talk about the conscious mind and the unconscious mind. And I'm sure, you know, this is really becoming, um, it's really out there now that people are getting switched onto this, uh, that all change happens at the unconscious level. So it's like this. Okay. So if I were to tell you right now to go put your shoes on, you will put one shoe on before the other. And you will do that every single time. You will do that every single time. It's a pattern. And it's unconscious because you don't even think about it. You just go and put your shoes on. But you will do it the same way. Step in. So I put on my right foot first and then my left foot. And if I do it backwards, it feels weird. So just give that a try. Go put your shoes on or your flip-flops. These are like my favorite shoes right now. <laughs> It's summertime, you know, and go do it, right? And so the reason, you know, back to the reason why it is that I'm doing this morning show is because I truly believe in you. I truly believe that you can live an extraordinary life. And I believe that a lot of people are settling for something less. And We're here for a short time, not a long time. And so when we're caught up in fear, fear of what other people think, fear of showing up, I mean, <laughs> I gotta tell you, this is, you know, coming in here every week and speaking for a while, you know, I have been wanting to do this for a really, really long time. And it took me a while to get up the confidence, even though, you know, I'm really
really confident there was something holding me back. There was something holding me back from showing up. And so then what I decided uh, is that I made a commitment, a commitment to you. This isn't for me. I mean, it is for me because it's like exercising that commitment muscles, exercising me speaking my truth, it's exercising me, but this is really for you. I really want, I really have been through a lot in my life and it would be a travesty or highway robbery or whatever word, I'm not thinking of the word, for me to hold all this in and not share this with you in hopes that you'll take some of what I say or what I share or some of the stories will land with you and you can make those micro shifts because those little micro shifts that you make in your life, it's kind of like just one step at a time. And the next thing you know, a year from now, you'll turn around and you'll look at your life or whichever way your past is and you'll be like, holy shit. Because three years ago, I started, uh, was it like three years ago? Two years ago, I started, like I had my first experience. I don't know, if you haven't been around, you'll have seen the picture of me where I give the middle finger and I used to have warts on my finger, which I'll share that story. And they disappeared overnight <laughs> because I shifted energy within me. And, that, and I'm like one of the most skeptical people out there. <laughs> You know, like I needed something big like this to happen in order for me to be a believer, you know, like just believe in that holy something really amazing happened within me. I let go of some stuff and that is why I'm here. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm doing this. So I'm going to leave it at that. I feel like that's a great place to conclude, but if you have questions, Ever in this group I want you to know that this is a safe space for you to ask your questions you can ask them in your own post in the group you can put them in the comments below this video or wherever just ask your questions I want to know what you want to know and I will share and I also want to ask you as well I would love your interaction on these lives. I would love for you to show up live to them. And if you can't show up live, because I know we have our we have lives, and I would really love for you to comment and like them and so that I can thank you, you know, and that I can say hi. You know, these are this is really important uh, for me. And so that is what I would love for you to do is just to interact with me and tell me, you know, what it is that you're struggling with. So in two weeks, ah, I'm making another commitment. So in two weeks, I am going to do a masterclass. It's actually kind of going to kind of be more like a demo, right? So for those of you who are making changes in your health, for example, so I work with people who are making changes in their health, who are looking for not relationships, but like boundaries, you know, they have people pleasing, um, they just overcommit and are overwhelmed in their life. And I work with people in business as well, right? Just showing up and having the confidence, like really confidence coach, confidence transformation coach. For those of you who are working on your health, you know, that's at the forefront. You want to lose weight, um, you want to eat better, you want to make a commitment, but it's just like you make a commitment for a certain amount of time and then you revert back to your old ways. I'm going to do this little thing. It's, it's a belief change or it's a, it's a change. It's, a, it's basically a change in food. So if you have a food that is your vice, I want you to comment below and tell me that you'd be keen to be a demo with me and I'm going to take that food. You have to be willing to give it up. You have to be willing to give it up. Okay. And we're going to take your love for that food and we're going to
it'll make you not love it. And that will happen in about 20 minutes with me. And we're going to do it live so everyone can see how this works. And so we'll be doing that in a couple of weeks. I will confirm the date in here. You have to show up live and we're, I'll bring you on and that's what we're going to do. We're going to take, so for example, I had someone who loved sour cream and onion chips and that was like their thing. And we took that so that they don't like them anymore. How many of you would love that? <laughs> Maybe it's chocolate and it has to be something specific, a specific brand. So start thinking about what is the food that, you know, you just, you can't say no to and you want to say no to, like you're okay with giving it up. So there was another client of mine who, um, she loved peanut butter and she would literally sit down and she would take the spoon and she would start eating peanut butter out of the, out of the jar. And she doesn't do that anymore. So if you have something that you'd like to give up, let's do it. All right. So I am so happy to have done this today. Um, so definitely, you know, make sure that you hashtag replay, definitely comment in the comments below and uh, comment hashtag replay. And if you want to be a demo for this thing that I'm doing in two weeks, then put me please, me please in the comments and I will reach out to you. Okay. All right. I'm going to love you and leave you. Have an amazing day and live your extraordinary life. Mwah.